So here's the key. And as I put the key in the ignition, turn it on. Immediately located above the ignition is the Crystallite 7240 controller. And what the controller does is, in effect, it takes the power from the battery and uh, turns it into pulses and sends those pulses across the wires that are that come out of the bottom of the ignition box and up along the bottom bar of the frame and sends the power into the hub motor. Uh, up on top here I've installed a variety of electrical components uh, to power the bike, to control the power of the bike. Uh, first and foremost I have the um, cycle analyst which in effect monitors the battery and the power output of the battery as well as gives various readings on the bike uh, tells me how many volts are available right now so you can see here it says 75 volts uh, the bike is going zero kilometers per hour obviously and it's only drawing one or two watts of power uh, from the uh, the crystal light controller uh, toggling back and forth as how many kilometers and how many amp hours have been uh, have been consumed uh, since I've just been doing some battery testing here uh, for the last week I've had the uh, the power being drained just simply by the the headlights of the bike so I've used uh, about 30 amp hours of power and I've managed to go a whole 900 kilometer uh, 900 meters in my living room floor here uh, located on the bottom left hand corner of the cycle analyst is a switch that I've installed and what that switch does when I turn it on is it turns on the headlights on the front of the bike so I'll just pan around here and take a quick look so I've got installed on the front uh, double headlights you can see they're actually quite bright uh, 35 watt each bulb uh, I've also installed on the front of, a bi of the bike here a toggle switch that when I flip it allows me to go from both beams into a single high beam you'll notice the high beam is actually much brighter uh, at 60 watts of power so I can toggle back and forth between the uh, the two headlight switches as well as the or the two headlights and the regular beam versus the one under high beam okay so when we have the, uh, the headlights on when I've turned on the electrical power for the lighting system. I've got the headlights to turn on, but also located on the back of the bike as I pan backwards here. Uh, we have a tail light uh, when the throttle or when the brake uh, levers are pulled. Um, the brake light obviously illuminates brighter to give people behind me the warning that uh, I'm slowing down. Um, what else can I say here? So basically the bike itself is a uh, Schwinn it was originally a, an electric bike. Uh, the motor then and the electrical system that came on it uh, was insufficient, so I've managed to upgrade it. Uh, one other interesting uh, electrical component that I've installed on the front of the bike is, of course, cruise control. Uh, you've got your standard uh, cruise so that as you're moving along, you press the cruise control button and it'll hold you at that speed. I can press the plus or the minus buttons to increase or decrease uh, the speed of the bike as well. And uh, last but not least, the most important is the throttle located on the right hand side. Uh, when you push down on the thumb lever, uh, it engages the crystal light controller, uh, sends a signal to it to release power from the battery uh, through the wires obviously and into the hub motor. Uh, so I will do a short little demonstration on how fast the bike is capable and uh, what it does in my next video.